particles can behave like waves. They can have a wave-like property. And it, the wave-like property wavelength is given by the de Broglie re relationship. A particle that has a momentum, a mass, and a velocity will have a wavelength given by the momentum, Planck's constant, divided by that wavelength. Let's look at some concrete examples to see actual particles and what their de Broglie wavelength would be. Here's a list of particles and their de Broglie wavelengths. A photon, now that's a particle of light. That obviously has a wavelength that we've talked about. A yellow photon, its de Broglie wavelength, 600 nanometers. How about an electron moving at 10 to the fifth meters per second? So an electron just zipping along in space. You can use the de Broglie relationship to find a de Broglie wavelength of around 6 nanometers for that electron. A sodium atom at 800 or 80 Kelvin, that's a temperature, that de de determines the average speed in the system, the average speed of those particles around 300 meters per second. We know they're sodium atoms, so we know their mass. They have a momentum, I can calculate a wavelength, a few hundredths of a nanometer. Now let's take a baseball. An, a, an object that we know the size and mass of, a macroscopic object. A macroscopic object like a baseball, 170 grams, set by the uh, Major League Baseball Association, a standard baseball, thrown at 40 meters per second. That's a very good fastball. We can calculate, using the de Broglie relationship, the wavelength, but look at how small the number is. This is 10 to the minus 26 nanometers. We were already at nanometers, 10 to the minus 9. <laughs> now we've gone to 10 to the minus 26th of those. This is an incredibly small distance. It's so small, it's insignificant. And that's why you say if you take a macroscopic object, if I take this tennis ball and I throw it, I give it a velocity, I don't notice a wavelength. And you don't notice a wavelength because the wavelength is vanishingly small. In order for the wave-like properties of matter to manifest itself, the matter must be very tiny. If you have very, very tiny matter with very tiny momenta, then the wavelength creeps up into a region where you could actually detect it. So particle and wave nature of matter is going to be important for small particles, but not for macroscopic large particles. We don't even notice it.